Hi, today we will see how to use the audio monitor and to set the test tone generator. Through the display of the transmitter, input status menu show which are the available audio input. In this moment, for example, left and right, FM receiver, analog MPX1 and web stream. If we move to audio monitor setting, we can select any audio source, not MPX, and we can play it through the jack 3.5 mm that is present in the front panel of the transmitter. For example, if we select analog, we can change the output level, save. Here we will listen the analog input audio. We can select another input, for example, web streamer. This is the audio from the web streaming or the FM receiver. This is the audio coming from the FM receiver. If you connect an RF cable from the RF monitor, in the front panel of the transmitter to the FM receiver input on the back of the transmitter, you can listen the on-air audio. So now that the cable is connected between the RF output monitor and the FM receiver, we move to setting, input, and we set the output frequency of the transmitter as a frequency of the FM receiver. In this case, 98 MHz. We save that. After that, we move to dashboard and we select FM receiver. Now, we will listen the on-air audio of the transmitter. That is the same of the web streaming. The transmitter integrates a test tone generator. To activate that, we move to Exciter, Setting, Input. We can change the test tone mode. We can change the left and right frequency and the amplitude of the tone. We save the setting. We move to MPX baseband. I suggest to disable the automatic input switch and select as audio test signal. 